Late for, for the first number, There Will Never Be Another You. Can you think of a more appropriate song for Annie? <laughs> Obviously, there's never going to be another Annie. It's a miracle that we have even one. Um, we just got over the Jewish holiday. Applause, applause. We just got over the Jewish holidays. Now, why do I mention that? There's a phrase that you always hear this time of year, Dayenu, which means it would suffice us. And I think of that a special meaning for the life and the art of Annie Ross because Annie has done so many things. Bernie could stand on the stage for twice as long and not list everything she's done. She's done so much in 84 years, it's just ridiculous. I couldn't do that much in 5,000 years. It's the most amazing career and the most amazing diversity of, of any performer I've ever met, ever encountered. And um, like I say, Bernie couldn't even begin to list half of the things she's done. In a way, she reminds me of Benny Carter. People are always saying, well, if Benny just played alto and didn't bother to arrange or write songs, people would remember him better. Or if Benny just played trumpet and didn't bother leading a band, he might have been greater. But the strength of Andy, like the strength of Benny, is her sheer diversity. I mean, the, am the amount of things she's done is just insane. Um, if it were only for Lambert, Hendricks, and Ross, we'd be up here celebrating. If it were only 10, almost 10 great years of the Metropolitan room, she'd be worthy of a great celebration. If it were only for the Little Rascals, she'd be more celebrating. If it, were, if it were only for singing Lac Le Monde, she, she'd be worth celebrating. It's, it's the most unique career in, in all of American popular culture that I know of, especially for, for a Scottish lass. It's an incredible, incredible career. I can't think of anybody else who is a first class, serious, actress who's also a great jazz singer. There's some musical theater people that can also do cabaret and sing the songbook, and those are two very closely linked arts. They're right together, and they, people like Patti LuPone and Christine Eversole, they do that brilliantly, but nobody who's like a, a, a total pure actress who's also a total pure jazz singer. It's like if Meryl Streep and Billie Holiday were somehow the same person. It's just, like I said, totally unique. Among other things, seeing Tony here tonight, do, do people realize that Annie Ross was the one who conceived the Tony Bennett, Bill Evans album? Yeah. Tony told me that. She gives Annie total credit for that concept. And like I say, it, it's um, the mere fact that she's a songwriter as well. She's written jazz standards in an era when very few women were songwriters and even fewer singers were songwriters, when it was really pretty much unheard of. For singers to write their own material, Annie was like a pioneer about 30 years ahead of everybody else. It's another thing she deserves credit for. And um, <laughs> listening, I've been listening a lot to Lambert Hendricks and Ross lately. Listening to Annie in her voice in the 20s when she was able to use it just like an instrument. When she was like imitating a trumpet section, not just one trumpeter, but the whole town basic trumpet section, doing this amazing non-verbal things, and yet, even though she wasn't singing words, she was singing with incredible personality, and she was able to do that. I mean, uh, most people are young at 27, but of course, Annie had already been doing it for 20 years at that point. And even after Lambert Hendricks and Ross, over the years, she still has that amazing swing, she still has that amazing musicianship, but her ability to interpret a lyric, to climb inside a song and see it from the inside out, to make that story her story, has really gotten sharper and sharper and sharper over the last 80 years, and particularly in, in recent years, performing here every week at the Metropolitan Room. And uh, like I say, it, it's just an incredible, incredible series of accomplishments. And it's just hard to imagine one person who could have done it all. And it's a great honor to be part of this. And thank you so much. Oh, yeah.